when you're doing work, whatever that work is, there's just gonna be those moments where it's not the most interesting part of the process. Like when you stumble onto a film crew working on the street, you're like, oh my God, Brad Pitt, let's see. And nothing's happened. I mean, you're just like waiting for something to happen. And it's just, you know, lights being moved around, flats being moved around. Um, lots of work happening, but it's really hard to really pinpoint that as like a tangible end product. It disappears once the film is made. Yeah, where are the other PAs that we have? Yeah. If you're a viewer and you're coming into the SF MoMA space, you're seeing a lot of people moving back and forth. There's a gaffer who's changing the lighting. There's Charlie who's working on the live edit. There's Howie and Eric who are manipulating the sound. You're hearing over the loudspeaker my voice saying like, okay, um, move back camera one. And you're seeing three camera guys, the dolly grip dude. And so a lot of people would like, oh, this is like a mess in here, crazy. <laughs> the objects are geometric abstractions of the architecture of the museum. And the museum itself, it's very graphically identifiable. It's almost overbearing. So it's a kind of a nice metaphor to take that and break it down into these surfaces, into flats cinema-style flats. And so a film needs a subject, right? So the subject is pointing back to itself again, the idea of like, what is a most basic kind of performative thing? And what is performance? So we thought, oh, the simplest thing would be the speech act, like talking. But does language have the power to order the body, to comport the body in the way that it decides. And Judith Butler was one of the people involved, um, and she gave an experimental lecture. If we ask, what does it mean for language to perform? So for us, it was really important to have her because her seminal work has been on the speech act and also subject formation through the act of talking. You're going to get the flip-flop guy when you talk to me, not the guy with, what are those dots they put on the banker's shoes? I forget the name of those kind of shoes, but you know And then on the other hand, we had the Golden Gate Toastmasters. And the Toastmasters is like this national public speaking club that anybody can join. Teachers, middle managers, new immigrants, um, people who are terrified of public speaking. It's, it's this empty space that uh, you feel it's void, but actually a lot of interesting things goes on in the middle of the night. You might focus somewhat on say Judith or whoever's speaking, but really you'll be distracted by all the activity around it. In repeating, she communicates with them. In repeating, in repeating she responds to him. And this raises the question of how it is a right importantly for a So it's a film production as performance and there's a lot of things in that conceptually that we're picking apart. Any project starts with the visual work. Even though a lot of it seems pretty disparate, I think in its core, the objects all are interrogating a similar idea. There is like this element of it being a painting, but it's really also about it becoming a place where something else is occurring, whether it's like blockading something, it's dividing something. 
it's providing a structure for something else, other information, or it's providing a structure for other types of actions and performances. Nice and slow, nice and slow, it's a little jittery. Stop right here. Stop, perfect. Left, For right, this left, project, left, the right, subject left, of the filming was left, walking, right, left, which is another left, really simplified right, performance gesture. Halt. But there's so much meaning in that act. You know, it could be simply transportation, it's protest, it's military, celebration, cruising. So we use that as like the starting point, investigating the politics of walking. Go back again. In a typical situation, the movie is the end Go result. Back. But in this situation, the movie is just a premise to do all these other things. You can see the project unfolding on many different levels. Everything from the dolly grip guy who's pushing the camera guy around on a track, which becomes a kind of dance performance, which is pointed on to an actual dancer who is then getting recorded, which is getting projected in the space, which then becomes a video. So there's so many things that are being made. It, you know, instantly becomes this other thing while you're looking at the thing happening. <laughs> right, let's have the man in the Even though we've set out the structure and are controlling the setting, the camera's also on us. And that also becomes a sort of reflection of what the projects do in general, is like to point back to this invisible part of making things, the production of an artwork. It's really like it's the studio. And it just happens to be that there are people around <laughs> while that's happening.